Hello and welcome to this session. In this session we will discuss how to choose appropriate units of measurement. Now let us discuss how to choose appropriate units. Now there are different units for measuring length and weight like meter, kilometer, centimeter, millimeter, liter, kilogram, gram, millimeter, etc. To find a suitable unit to measure, you should first estimate how big it is. For example, for measuring the height of a mountain, which measure is appropriate, kilometer or centimeter? Since mountain will be of large height, so we will use kilometer to measure its height and not centimeter. So for measuring the height of a mountain, Kilometer is appropriate unit of measure. Now, to measure weight of a truck, which measure is appropriate, ounces or tons? Now, again we see that truck is heavy, so we will use tons to measure its weight and not ounces because ounces are too light. Similarly, to measure the volume of a test tube, which unit will be used, millimeter or liter? Now see, since test tube is very small in size and it will hold a small quantity of liquid, so we will use milliliter and not liter to measure its volume. So. For measuring volume of a test tube, millimeter will be used. Now let us discuss how to choose appropriate weights and units. Now it is important to choose appropriate units when you use a weight. You can express a weight in different ways by using various unit combinations that have the same meaning. The most useful way to express a rate depends on the problems you are solving. Furthermore, a unit rate can help you solve problems. Now we know that both inches and miles can be used to measure length. For example, the speedometer in your car read 40,000 inches per minute. Now in this example, we have measured the distance in inches, but we can clearly judge that it is not appropriate measure to be used in measuring speed. Here, inches does not give us a good idea of the speed of the car, but if it reads 30 miles per hour, then you have a better idea of how fast you are traveling. So we can clearly see that miles per hour is an appropriate unit rate to measure speed. Now let us see one more example. Now suppose we want to find amount of food eaten by a bird each day now which unit rate we will use here ounces per day or pounds per day. Now see the amount of food eaten by the bird will not be very large. 
Bird will eat a small quantity of food and fills ounces measure small quantities and pounds measure heavier quantities then ounces so here ounces per day is appropriate unit weight Now let us see some of the common unit rates. Now to find average speed, we use miles per hour. Now to find gas mileage, we use miles per gallon. And to find unit price, we use price. Say dollars per pound. So in this session we have discussed how to use appropriate units of measurement. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.